Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about black and white photo walls and why they are cool. A while back I did a video that was really well received which includes all my best tips when it comes to documenting family life and travel. And in that video I briefly mentioned this photo wall here and I got a ton of questions about it. I promised many of you that I would make a video providing more details about it, but summer was busy and I'm only now caught up enough on projects that I can make it happen. So the idea behind this photo wall is to have a single place which features our most recent documentary style photography of our family that we're proud of. Between Danae and I we shoot with lots of different types of cameras, film cameras, smartphones, various mirrorless cameras and all at different aspect ratios in both horizontal and vertical orientations. Because of this, I wanted to create um, an approach to a photo wall with black and white photography and with square orientation to maximize the chances that the photos we love will work on this wall. Of course, not every photo can be cropped square or be converted to black and white and still work, but I think it's well worth enforcing a style like this rather than having a lack of consistency that you see in many homes that feature a cacophony of styles and formats. That's fine for other people if it makes them happy, but I like the simplicity and consistency that this approach offers. So the other thing about this wall that I did want to mention was modularity. I want the ability to easily swap in new photos throughout the lives of our kids and pets. To accomplish that, the system I landed on is, is the one that's provided by Bay Photo, which is not a sponsor. But to demonstrate that, I've actually got a few new photos right here that I need to update the wall with. So we'll unbox those right now together is demonstrated by this dust. You can see that I have had these for months and I just have not had time to open them. I could have opened them and put them on the wall, but I, I, wanted, to, I wanted to save that and do that with you guys. I honestly don't even remember what photos these are. So I'll be as surprised as you. Ah, yes. I mean, this one just goes to show that um, these photos come from all kinds of different cameras. This is actually, believe it or not, this is actually shot. This was shot with a GoPro underwater. I do like how Bay Photo packages these. Ah, yes, of course. This is the shot of Danae and I holding hands. You can see the story of this in one of our past videos. Um, just love this photo. So after experimenting with a few different types of prints, the ones that I arrived on are these 8x8 eight eight, um, inch, 1 4 inch wide acrylics. They have white paper backing and a metallic reflective finish um, that I think works really well in the kitchen area. There's something about a kitchen that requires a glossy finish you know, on photos in my opinion. Then on the back of these, you'll see that they have these keyholes um, that you can mount very easily uh, with screws. That makes it really easy to swap them in and out, which I'll show you. So you can see that, pull this off and we just have a little screw on the back. Very easy to swap in the new one, even one-handed, done. Now I do have to warn you that these aren't cheap, running over $40 each with all the options that I listed. And I would just never have done that if I was going to be done with these afterwards. If you want a more affordable solution though, you might consider the 8x8 Gator Foam instead. You can't get the same level of gloss with those prints, but they can look very nice and they are much more affordable. But the way I see these is not only a great way to feature our photography today, but someday Danae and I are gonna be empty nesters and then even scarier grandparents. And like many people in that position, we're gonna have walls of photos of our kids 
planning ahead a little bit, I'm looking forward to the walls of photos that are consistent like these, rather than what you might see in like my parents' home, which is a bit all over the place. And again, that's totally fine, but the idea of black and white squares lining the walls of our retirement home warms my heart a little bit. So anyway, that's all. Hope some of you found this to be useful. I'll be sure to post a follow-up video in 20 years when my kids are out of the house and, in, and we have an entire wall covered with these. But until then, I wish you the best of luck in your own documentary photography. Bye-bye.